In this tutorial, we will write a Java program to concatenate two arrays. So let's say we have integer data type of array 1, which is array 1 equals to um, 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, then we have another array of int integer data type array 2 equals to, let's say, uh, uh, 7, 8, 9. Only three numbers in this array, okay? So uh, first we define the length, okay? So I say length length array one equals to array one dot array one dot length. I'm sorry, array one dot length, and I do same for length of array two, which is equals to array two dot length because I need length. Now we need to define a new array which will store the uh, concatenation of these two arrays. So that array will also be integer data type. So let's say we have a result array which will concatenate these two and store it into it. And uh, this is equals to new and integer and we give the size. Now size will be of length of array 1 plus length of array 2 because all of these numbers will be stored into this so we need to define an array of uh, size length of this plus length of this so which is length of array 1 length of array 1 plus length of array 2 okay now we call a uh, function system dot array copy this is a built-in function and this takes five arguments first argument is your array that you want to copy and this array should start from the index 0 and it should store the result uh, the values in this result and in this result it should store values from 0 up to up to what index up to index of array uh, length 1 so what we are saying is we are saying copy the array from index 0 store it into this result and in this result store it from index 0 up to this number which is the length of array 1 so if array 1 has four values this will store from uh, it takes uh, it will take array 1 from 0 index in all values and store it into result and in the result it will store on index from 0 up to 3 index so 0 1 2 3 the so length is Four, so it will uh, store up to from zero up to three index okay and we do same to copy uh, our another array so I say copy array 2 and from index 0 because I want to copy all the values and store it to result and now I need to give uh, index where my er uh, values of array 2 will be stored since I've already stored the values on index 0 up to length of array 1, now I want to store from length of array 1 up to length of array 2. Okay, that's it. Now let's print. And for printing, let me import java.util.arrays and we'll use its built-in function, which is let's say print and I'll use arrays dot two string and I'll pass my result so this should print a result let's run and see um there is a error because I am missing one bracket okay run it again and we have now an other error which is cannot find the symbol and symbol is okay I'm sorry this is system not this is basically system. I miss S. I'm sorry. You make some syntax errors. Okay. There we go. We have our result. Our array 1 was 1, 2, 3, 4. Array 2 is 7, 8, 9. And there we go. We have a result which has the concatenation of these two arrays. So let me walk you through the code once again. We have array 1 with 4 values from 1 to 4. We have array 2 of integer data type both and of values from 7 to 9 and we have um, calculated the length of array 1 and array 2 and stored in two variables length array 1 length array 2 and then we have created a result array which 
has the length of array 1 length plus array 2 length because we will be storing values of array 1 and array 2 both into a result so it has to be the length of uh, some of these some of the length of these two arrays okay and then we have used the uh, built-in function in the system array copy and this basically takes array 1 but what we are doing is we are saying copy the array 1 from index 0 store it uh, in result and in result store it from index 0 up to length of array 1 and then again we are copying array 2 from 0 index 0 storing it into result and from index length of array 1 up to length of array 2 and finally we are using arrays uh, built-in function to string to print our result and that we have our concatenated array so this was one way of doing so uh, i'm commenting this piece of code and we'll be using our own logic to convert the uh, to concatenate our arrays we will not use any built-in copy function okay so now we have uh, array 1 and array 2 and I want to create a um, length for our uh, result array. So this will be uh, array 1 dot length plus array 2 dot length. Okay. Then we I have my result array which is array uh, integer type of array result equals to new integer and size is size is length okay and now our logic is to take one atom at a time from each array and insert into a result array and we need to keep track of index so uh, let's say i declare a variable which is our position position is uh, we are starting from zero and we iterate over uh, our array uh, one which is teacher we have element and we take element from array one and we put it one element at a time into our result so i say result at position index equals to element and i also increase my position by uh, one okay and after array one is completely inserted into our result then we need to start an other loop and take one element at a time from array two and insert in it into a result at position and uh, there we go and also i increase my position by one so after these two loops are completed we'll have our array one and array two stored in result so let's print it and we will use arrays dot to string built in function to uh, print our array so let's run it and see if our logic is correct. So um, there we go. We have our 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. So this also works. What we have done is we have our two arrays and we have taken the length of, uh, we have actually summed the length of array 1 and array 2 to calculate the length of our resulting array. And we have created a resulting array called result and uh, with the uh, length of uh, summation of both arrays and then we have uh, declared a position uh, variable which will which is starting from zero index and what this basically will do is we have started a loop and we are iterating over array one so we are basically taking one element at a time and we are uh, storing it uh, into a result array so when this array will run one element of array will be stored in position 0 and then position will be increased by 1 then on index 1 and then 2 and 3 and so on it will go on and on until we have uh, iterated over array 1 and when we are done with array 2 our uh, loop will start of array when we are done with array 1 our loop will start uh, of array 2 and we will keep iterating over one element at a time and we will store that into our uh, result and keep in mind that the position is uh, also increasing by one so we are not losing our any uh, uh, values so when this loop is finished we have stored our uh, 
values of array 2 into a result as well and finally we call our return function to string from arrays to print our result so that's it with this tutorial i hope it helps and if it does please subscribe my youtube channel and i'll see you in next tutorial with a new program